I'm just grateful to be back out there. I had an injury last year, so I feel honored to be back in the city, and I'm just really excited to run. Everything's been great, but my speed is maybe like not quite where we wanted to be. And I was like, can I not take a break and just run like a mile every day and do sprints? And he said, no, 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 we're not doing that. Uh, now I feel really mentally fresh and good to go. So it's been a good lesson to maybe have a shorter build up. It's just nice to have the experience of the marathon behind me this time. And I'm just looking forward to, again, just the whole experience of the race. I'm looking forward to seeing what the weather will be and how the competition will play out. And it's like we put in so much hard work, and now it's just kind of, it's like Christmas. You get to go uh, unleash your gift. I'll work pretty hard in, up in Oregon for a while. Uh, if I'm doing more of a down week on speed and some longer, long runs, I'll go down to California and it's good to visit my dad and brother and be down there in the sun for the final prep. I go back to Oregon, so Alberta can throw in some surprise intervals or make tweaks here and there. talk about his past running as much, but uh, he'll just, just to like, have his presence and his knowledge of the training and uh, he makes sure that we get in the hill running on the downhills and everything and he's been good about just uh, managing those expectations as well. She's been on my mind all weekend and uh, she'll be that little voice in my head making things fun and tell me to keep smiling out there. I got it cut. I got I got seven inches cut off. And my dad, I got here, my dad's like, it's so short. So and I was freaking out that it did look short, but in case it's really rainy, it gets kinda heavy if it's wet. So I was like, yeah, I want it, I want it a little shorter.